bitches cycle. Didn't they make ooh, uh, 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 Dead to Rights Reckoning, the, the 361? I don't, I don't, let me know in the comments what vicious cycle has done. Hey, um, it's Matthew, and we're about to eat lead with our another Matthew, Matthew Hazard, which I don't really know anything about. Please tell me the genesis of Matt Hazard. Why is it the return of Matt Hazard when I never heard of him before this? Like, was he in some obscure thing, or is this some, like, I don't know, meta, he used to be really important and cool, and now he's back. Kind of like Duke Nukem Forever, but like, Matt Hazard's way cooler than Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> oh my god, James Small never shut up about this game. I was actually like, dude, shut up. Please. <laughs> he's just you know, always banging on about E Leather Return to Matt Hazard. Like, what is that? Stop saying that name over and over. I don't know, this seems like it's a lampoon of Duke Nukem Forever. I'm so, sorry, just Duke Nukem and Action Heroes in general like that. But then when you actually play the game, it's kind of like not that great. Or I'll, I'll see. I, I actually played Bed Bath and Beyond, uh, Blood Bath and Beyond or, or whatever that was. Um, but I had never actually gone hands on with this. So hoping for the best. My name's Hazard. Okay. Mad Hazard. Yeah. At one time, the Rock I was one of the most popular action game characters in the business. I started off. Hey, like that's cool. Side-scrolling my way through the '80s, an 8-bit sprite with more firepower than pixels. When the '90s came along, I signed on with Marathon Software to star in their original first-person shooter. Mad Hazard 3D went straight to the top of the charts. Wow. It was the first in a string of hits as long as my, well. Let's just say it was long. Really, really long. Marathon signed me to a lifetime gig. Okay. And I off into every action ninja I'm kind of into this. Spy thrillers, survival horror games, fantasy adventures, and even a fun series of buddy cop games with a rookie sidekick named Dexter Dare. Matt Hazard and Dexter Dare, that's all right. Head. I asked Marathon if I could take the Matt Hazard brand in new directions. And they let me run with it. And then... Let's just say that was a mistake. Don't invest in your own novelty a restaurant in Times the Square. The went downhill faster than you could say non-violent water gun based third person shooter. Don't ask. I thought that was the end. Until a new CEO came along and bought the place. Now the company's called Marathon Megasoft. And the new guy insisted that I be the star in their first next gen shooter. So here I am, back in the game. This time around, I'm a no-nonsense detective who plays by his own rules. Yeah, I mean, Ready is there any type of rule that you play by other than your own? Of exotic locales, starting with a Japanese steakhouse. That's okay. Uh, what the hell? You gotta start somewhere. Wait, are you actually like a secret agent? Is this play like a James Bond game? Oh wait, is this does this have like a different gimmick per level or something? We finally got Ooh. a break in the soon case. Somebody was running a protection racket out of the swankiest Japanese restaurant in Chinatown. And is that Bojack? The drop was gonna take place tonight. I have to get in there and get the money back to the shop. Like Will uh program. Will Arnett? And I'm gonna rain hell on whoever gets in my way. Yeah, everyone knows Will Arnett from his amazing role in TMNT. And I just got depressed because I was re I just reminded myself of those Ninja Turtle movies. Anyway, it's a tutorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it's fun to make fun of tutorials for like a second, but don't overblow it. Like Far Cry Blood Dragon does it okay, but it also goes on a little long. But l let's 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 accept. All right, I kind of I kind of knew this was a third person game, but I also kind of thought it was industry, um, first person. I don't know. I, I thought it was a weird hybrid at the very least. It's funny there's a tutorial, but I'm not really killing any enemies. There they are. Never mind. Okay. Why do you have blue blood? Oh, see that? He was very scared. I'm just as scared of him as he is of me. So just moving him around feels a little, little janky. Maybe it's something I can get used to, but holy shit. Where'd he go? <gasps> He's there. Look at that melee combo. Well, it's not too bad, actually. That's fine. I like the music, though. It's very action movie, which I, you know, I assume that's what it's going for, but it's catchy. It's very cinematic. It's not like the most 
It's not trying to be fucking uh, Devil May Cry, but there's something about it. I don't know who owns the Matt Hazard IP. I guess it's D3, which is a, very strange to me since they published like Onin Shambara. But like this is backwards compat. No, wait, this has like an up res um, Xbox One version, I think. Maybe not up res, but you know. Uh, you can play it on the Xbox One. It's still shocking to me. Yeah, I guess it's because I'm in a video game or whatever that it's weird blue electric blood. It's still a little strange, but... By the manager's office. Retrieve the protection money. Yeah, the fact that it just throws me into this scenario, I assume I'm just going to be doing grando things. It's really weird and kind of disturbing that I'm just flipping my arm in the air. Is that a bug? If there's a bug in this game, is that intentional? shit. Well, that guy's got a powerful gun up there. It's a super scary gun noise. Oh, shit! I think that was everybody, except for uh, feet clipping. Oh! Feet, feet clipping into the floor, man. Yeah, I was trying to be Duke Nukem. I should expect to, um, you know, uh, answer phones about huge jasses and stuff, but I just go to these bathrooms and there's nothing in them, which is, like, not even an item. Not even a weird gag. Oh, there's a gun. That's something. There's a gun. It's a fucking magnum. I'll take that. So I got a magnum and machine gun magnum, which is great. All right, this is this is much better now. <laughs> Jesus, the magnum's so scary, man. I don't want to get shot, and I don't want anyone to get shot by a magnum. All right, big steakhouse shootouts. I assume will happen here. But no one's triggered yet, so I guess I gotta do it my own way. Can't go over there. Okay, I have triggered people. Finally get out of this giant steakhouse, Jesus, let's leave. Oh, no, the steakhouse keeps going. It's this big house, the steakhouse. See your little arm there, sir. That should teach you. Shoot you in the hand twice, <laughs> that's enough. Oh, finally a cutscene. <gasps> Whoa! I'm gonna give you one more chance. Get the hell out of my way and let me settle this with your boss. No way, pig. You want to confab with the boss, man? You gotta get through me first. He's wearing a fucking 3D Mortal Kombat costume. Oh my god! <laughs> I did not expect, but I should have expect. Oh, get okay, big combos now. We're just. Oh, I thought he was gonna do a fucking uh, diamond cutter. <laughs> Oh, thing. just as good! That was pretty fun. And you get all ragdolled up. Oh shit. I didn't know we were fighting, guys. Jesus. These enemies are really erratic. Like, I can't tell if the AI is super good or super bad. I'm assuming the one of them. She's sorry, sir, sir. Oh, I feel bad. Because I, I think, like, a lot of enemy... I'll, I'll look back upstairs. I think a lot of enemy corpses disappear. Okay, no, they're still st hanging around, but is, is all of them do this? No, just him. Weird. Please let this be the actual exit. Because while, while this certainly has a charm to it, this level is going on really, really long. And it's just room after room after room. Okay, this door's opened up. The briefcase! Or the money, they just give me the money. Oh no. A programmer's changing the code. What the? I just hope they didn't have to crunch to do this. Who the Stop. hell are you? Your worst nightmare. <laughs> Except in the daytime when you are not asleep. Oh yeah? Well, you better. What? Your life will now end. Prepare to begin your death. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but whoever's writing your material needs to lay off the 80s action flicks. Your words are puny, like you. You are the past, Matt Hazard. I am the future, and your present ends now. Whoa! You've got a problem, and I'm here to help. Problem? What problem? Your saves have been erased. If that bullet what? had hit you, you would have been dead. Permanently. What are you talking about? But is Look, he a real guy in, in the game they took code? Your when you walked in here, so you're going to have to use your melee subroutines to fight this guy. I can do a little something to even the odds. Just a damn minute. I want to know what's going on here. No time. No, there's no time. Didn't you hear that? It's the we'll most important part is that there's no time. 
All right, one of these again. Uh, maybe it'll be cool. That's a hell of a thing. All right, all right. Sorry there's no subtitles. There actually is no subtitles. I checked in okay, the options. Lady, whoever you are, we need to talk now. Yeah. Watch well, it be Adon from Turok. Hi, Matt. Still no, it's piece, just a Cortana. Yeah, thanks. And you are? I can't tell you my name. I think we're safe in this part of the server. Just but give you your hacker name or let me know your OnlyFans account. QA. Uh, okay, QA. QA, you, what's going whoa! On? I hacked into this game I found running on a secure server, and that's when I noticed you were in trouble. That guy you just KO'd was Sting Sniperscope. He's referenced Sting in the code for every level of the game. But you, Space Captain you're Face. You're only in level one. Look, babe, there's got to be some mistake. I'm the star of this game. No, you're not. The code uh. shows that there was going to be a plot twist that took you out as the player character and put Sniperscope in your place. Oh, Thank so like Metal Gear Solid 2. Well, if I'm still alive and he's dead, game over, right? Unfortunately, no. The game is still running, and I need time to find out what's going on. How do you keep the game running if the main character slash star is dead? That's where you come in. Without huh? weapons and saves? I don't think so. I've already restored the save feature. And as for weapons... Yeah, give me my Matt Hazard suit. Oh, yeah, it's better. better. Suits That's make a me suit. Look old. But won't somebody notice that I'm not sniper scale? If you stick to the objectives, it will be a while before anyone sees the switch. I'll keep it. Really? Up. I might even be able to have I'm thinking about the science of this, and it doesn't make sense to me if I think I about it or if I don't think it's about it. Hazard time. Um Yeah. See, this is what Doom Nukem Forever should have been. It should have been some meta fourth wall breaking plot where everyone's like, you're kind of lame. So here's the thing. That's all charming and I'm pretty, you know, interested with, with this plot. But like, I'm not sure if you could tell, but this doesn't play super well. Like it's really, really jank. Like it just, I mean, I've had some little small glitches. I, 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 I probably cut out from this just because they were so minor and I didn't know what to say to them. Um, like maybe I, I just need to get to a different level where there's like crazier weapons because it's just like I have a melee strike and just shooting a gun. For such a fun premise, I hope there's some more fun stuff I can do like delete guys from the code using some temporal vortex. Like, I, I, Does any like that stuff come later in the game perhaps? I'm not sure but... I, since this is the second level, I'd like to think I'll unlock something new to do. This is like really fun premise, but it's what just essentially Kane and Lynch, so which is not a compliment. Okay, we absorb code. Okay, that's something. But these weird scientist butchers, what, what are these guys? Holy shit, the meat comes out. That's pretty cool. That's weird though. Or I'm sucking their code. So that's something. I, I don't know what that'll result in. I guess that's my health. Maybe. It's my, my Digimon code. And everyone's got guns. I guess it's a game thing. So I, sh I shouldn't... It's a game within a game. So I can't really say anything about it. Oh, finally shotgun. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, but then if I go over here again... Nothing happens? Okay, it's just uh, that's just a glitch in the game code, like you said. You can't really actively do anything with it. So that blue bar isn't my health, I just have regenerating generic health somewhere. Which I'd rather not have, I, I kind of wish it was a bar or a number. And that's more of old school, isn't it? QA, I don't want to wander around forever. What am I looking for? Yeah. The original level objectives say you need to find the casino manager's office. Beyond that... I'm not sure. The casino manager? But I was in Wild West Town. This game is a crazy game. Whoa! Jeez, now that's some Duke Nukem shit. That. What's up with the dancers? They're animatronic bots used to conserve memory. Whoever designed the level never expected characters to get down to the dance floor. Oh, okay. That's pretty funny. So there's like placeholders. So, you know, knowing that Jaden Small did a bunch of years of QA, I can see why he likes this as much as he does. What the... Whoa! Maximum hazard. Maximum hazard? I guess it's a power-up. Stay there. Oh, I guess I'm not 
I guess it isn't a power up, it's like a power down. Okay, here's some glitches. I, yeah, I can see through the game world, but, but but that's about it. I guess it's just the things that warped in. All right, manager's office, the, man, the manager of the entire casino. That looks okay, like a manager's QA. office. I made it to the manager's office. What now? Kitty. Kitty Abundanza. <laughs> What oh no, she kicked me in my hazards. Kitty, I'm here because something crazy's going on. It's hard to explain, but... Ah, oh, hell. Here we go again. Matt. Really? ...uploaded a massive number of enemies, and they're headed your way. Oh, I, I'm not used to fighting a massive amount of enemies. Like, they're the Russian rebels you fought in Tandarai. See what I mean? QA. Can you hack us and exit? It'll take a while. You'll have to stop them. You stay here, Kitty. The hell I will. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she can shoot guys too. How can you defeat the Russians? Sure. Wow, there's so many fucking enemies. She wasn't kidding. All right, the Russians are all dead. An exit now. About time. Go on, Kitty. I'm right behind you. No, just go through. That's okay, good. Okay, fine. What? No. Are you serious? I thought I finished the level. That. Oh, okay. Another upgrade for you. When an upgrade is active, it enhances the effects of what maximum hazard. Okay. I, Ice, here you go. Here's what I was talking about. Ask her modifies the rest of fire sub zero projectiles and kiss your heroes and icicles and faster. Okay. That's that's totally cool. Okay, all right. So that uses my blue meter, and I get more d data chips if, if I if I do that. Okay, can I stop it? No. Once I've used it, it keeps going down and down and down. Okay. Well. I have once again proven Soviet superiority by managing to smuggle nuclear device into country right under your hoses. <laughs> Noses. General, this isn't what it seems. You're making a mistake. If you think you can talk me out of this, it is you who is mistaken. Now, yeah, good, yeah, the good comeback. You'll it's a never snow be cone maker. And disarm the bombing time hazard. The power of the Soviet Union reigns supreme. All right, well, I'm glad that it's not just a, like, you know, QTE fight like the other two boss fights were. Whoa, that's pretty awesome. I mean, it's it's awful, the implications of it, but it's still a cool visual. You know, it's ha hazard time. Oh, shit. It's hazard time. How many shotgun blasts does it take to get to the center of the Soviet Union? It's so slow. Oh, thank God. As this better be a three-stage boss fight. I can't take more than four. I just mean in general, not that this is awful or anything. Right, there's 27 seconds left before all the nukes blow up. But I, I, I know I don't have much time, but I go over here. I, I, I'm not sure what else I can do except shoot the general. There's this over here, but I can't shoot it. There's one, a minute left. And then I have to beat General Asimov, or whatever, Rykov. With, probably with my fists, I assume. I'm gonna press that. That'll stop nuclear. Yeah, I know, QA, I know. I stopped it. Whew, that was close. Oh, I get to kill him? The Aww. Russians weren't after you. They were gunning for Kitty. And she's not the only marathon hero that's in trouble. Well, why did they want to the kill me then? Is loading now, and it looks like they're about to ambush Bill Schindler. Bill the Wizard, from Overlords of Wizard World. Nah, he'll be fine. He's what level seventy-five by now. He can kick anybody's butt. No, he can only access a few spells outside of his game. He won't survive long without help. Then you have to get me in there fast. Defend Bill the Wizard. What? Oh, there's a wizard. 
That's an extreme zoom. Okay, this is a lot tougher than it seems. I'm, I'm shooting all these guys as fast as I can, but Bill the Wizard seems incredibly frail. Low constitution level. Bill can't take much more, I'm being told, but... Alright, uh, Bill will... <sighs> okay. Not so sure about this mission. Okay, let's just try this again. I I'd like to think a, a powerful wizard with his robe and hat be a little more powerful. Lightning bolt. Huh. Okay. It's... It j uh, mm. All right, that, that's he led the return of Man Hazard. That mission, I, that, mm, I know about that one. This is a really great premise. Um, the writing is good, the voice acting is good, but it, it just kind of unfortunately plays like an average you know, cover base shooter, which I'm not really that about. I'd, I'd much rather have it played like more of an old schooler do Nukem thing. And, and and it just I, I wish it was a bit more polished, but I still like it. I don't know. Does it get even better later on? Like does the writing get more crazy or do you get even crazier powers? Let me know. Um I'm not sure if this is something I'll continue. I like I said, I do like the premise, just so it's, it's, it's a lot of rough edges. Um any other games like this you'd like to see me play, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see what I can do for you.